Okay, now here's a question that comes straight out of the exam. Okay, a 12,000 kilogram truck travels up a straight inclined road of a length 724 meters at a constant speed of 40 kilometers per hour. The total work done by the engine of the truck to get there is 9 times 10 to the power of 5 joules and the work done to overcome friction is 4.9 times 10 to the power of 4 joules. Calculate the height reached by the truck at the top of the road. So if we are doing inclines and things like that and work is being mentioned then you just rejoice because I'm telling you you can use this awesome formula that work applied goes into overcoming friction okay so the work to overcome friction plus okay the change in potential energy okay so then it goes into changing the height and whatever is left over goes into changing the kinetic energy okay but before we get to use that lovely formula let's just draw this picture more or less to see if it might help us uh, to answer this question. So there we have our road and uh, let's draw a decent truck on this road. Okay, here we go, our truck. Okay, there's our truck traveling up this road. Okay, there's some friction on the road. Okay, so there's some work done by the friction. Work by the friction or needing to overcome friction is 4,9 times 10 to the power of 4 joules okay and then uh, the work the total work done by the engine of the truck to get there okay so the work the total work to get there that's the net work being done is equal to that's the applied work because the engine is what's supplying the force to get up here so that is what is being applied so even though they say the total work done by the engine that total work doesn't mean the total work of the system it's the total work of the engine and the engine is the one applying the force okay so there is work applied and that is equal to 9 times 10 to the power of 5 joules Okay, what else do we know? Oh, it's traveling a constant velocity. Okay, constant velocity of 40 kilometers um, per hour. Now, first of all, constant velocity, just tell me that the change in kinetic energy is zero. Okay, it's not changing kinetic energy. So that means that the work that's being applied is exactly equal to these two. There's no change in kinetic energy. Okay, so that's going to be zero. We know that later on. And they ask us to calculate height. Well, where in our formula is height? Well, hopefully you see it's here. Okay, it's in that formula because we know that the change in potential energy is mass times gravity times change in height. Okay, and since this is the bottom and that's the top, this height, this change in height is going to be that variable right there. So let's go fill out what we do now. Okay, we know that the work that's being applied is 9 times 10 to the power of 5 joules. Okay, the work done to overcome the frictional force is 4,9 times 10 to the power of 4. Okay, the change in potential energy is mass. Oh yes, I didn't put that on my sketch, but they did give it that's 12,000 kilograms. Okay, so mass times gravity is 9.8 okay and we have delta H plus we have absolutely no change in our kinetic energy so that is simply zero okay now what do we get we get um, to solve H so delta H is simply equal to 9 times 10 to the power of 5 minus 4 comma 9 times 10 to the power of 5 4 divided by 12,000 as well as divided by 9.8. Okay, so that in the end is my formula. Let's see what do we get. What is our change in our height? It's 9 minus 4.9, sorry, 
It's 9 times 10 to the power of 5. That's important. That's 90, 900,000 joules minus 4.9 times 10 to the power of 4. Okay, that's 49,000. Okay, give me 851,000 uh, joules divided by 12,000, the mass of the truck, and also divided by 9.8. And here we get 7.2. Okay, if you get a 237, actually 24, I think. 7.24, yeah. 7.24 meters, and that's a reasonable slope. Okay, 7.24 meters, that is the height that of the slope. Hold well on.